Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Elida Fieldhouse, where tonight in the Division Three sectional finals, the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds battle the Bluffton Pirates. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Jerry Snodgrass and our entire WSN crew. And, Jerry, we take a look at this matchup. Both teams are playing really good basketball. LCC got a big win against Defiance last week. They get a big win in the tournament. Anybody's game tonight. It sure is. You know, on the other side of the coin, too, Bluffton is playing very well with a very young team. This, with this kind of a matchup, this is what sectional finals Absolutely. should be. Absolutely. Yeah. Anybody can win, and I think there'll be a lot of excitement for that. Let's take a look at the keys first for the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. Well, first of all, and I think you look at any team when it comes to a big game, they've got to rebound the basketball. And part of that is they need to be physical doing it, and that means getting to the offensive glass as well. Two, they need to establish the inside game. I think they have an advantage there, and they need to go at it. I think they feel that way. Also, to win any 50-50 ball along the way, you know, any loose ball, it's got to be in their hands. And I think that's where the defensive part of this comes into play. And for Bluffton, Jerry, you look at that. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10 games. They're so young, and they got a huge double overtime win against Allen East in the sectional semifinals. You know, and that's, that's something where a coach, you know, you don't know what to expect sometimes, but if you've got confidence in your kids, you're going to get it. So the keys for them, you know, they're going to, one, Coach Boblet wants them to relax and be confident. Yes, that second game of the tournament is so big because, you know, they just see that state sure. tournament's approaching. Yeah. You know, so relax and be confident about it. Two, they need to be physical on both ends, really, to match LCCs. And three, just like LCC, they need to rebound the basketball. No second opportunities uh, given to LCC. Come with us as we go down the tournament trail. It's Bluffton, it's LCC, and we'll have all the action right here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Elida Fieldhouse for the second game of tonight's sectional championship between the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds and the Bluffton Pirates. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Danny Hobart, Jerry Snodgrass. Tonight's second game, let's take a look at our starting lineups. First for the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds, they'll start number 10, Carson Parker, a 6'4 junior at 15 points a game. Number 12, Matthew Quatman is a 5'10 sophomore at 8.4 a game. Number 20, Parker Judy is a 6'1 junior at 6.5 a game. Number 30, Payne Cutlip is a 6'0 senior at 1.7 a game. And rounding out the starting five for the Birds, number 34, Billy Bork is a 6'5 junior at 8 points a game. For the Bluffton Pirates, they come in at 14 and 8, 6 and 2 in the Northwest Conference. They'll start number 0, Merrick Donaldson, a 6 foot sophomore at 13.5 a game. Number 2, Carson Soper is a 5'10 senior at 9.4 a game. Number 3, Wade Ginther, 6 foot junior at 12 points a game. Number 5, Landon Wooster, a 5'10 sophomore at 5.7 a game. And number 32, John Paul Yoder, a 6'3 junior at 5.6 a game. Tonight's officials are Reyes Ramirez, Jim Troyer, and Michael Wilson. So partner, we got a good one for this second game you take a look at these teams and head coach Frank Kills got the birds winning five of the last six and coach Boblet has his team seven and three in the last ten yes he does <laughs> and you know both those teams have some very good wins along the way you look at uh, uh, Bluffton first of all a very very young team plus you go to the fact that they were down 16 <laughs> right, right. in the third quarter <laughs> against Allen East the other night so you know, you talk about a young team that gains momentum from that. You look at uh, LCC, you look at some very big wins along the way and much better than their record shows. Absolutely. And you talk about a big win. Nothing could be bigger. They knocked off Defiance. State ranked Defiance, who took OG to the wire. Correct. You know, and I had seen Defiance play a couple of times. And, you know, you talk about a big win. But that goes back, too, to that physicalness that we talked about, you know, as part of the you know, important aspects of the game that Bluffton feels they have to match that physical play of LCC. And you look at Lima Central Catholic in their semifinal win, Billy Bork had a huge night, 15 points, and he really needs to step up and do that tonight. Yeah, and you know, at the same time, uh, Coach Kill just loved the defensive play of him, and, you know, along with his offensive play, and, and just, you know, was so critical for them coming back 15 points eight boards in that game so critical and, and coach todd boblet from bluff and jerry 
he lost a ton of talent last year, and he's got these kids playing really good basketball. They're a young team. They're very young. I heard an interview with him this week, and he's like, you know, they're, they're young enough. They don't kind of get what we're going through here. So. You know, it's funny. <laughs> coach, coach Bob used to coach at Finley when I was there so uh, as the athletic director, and so I know him quite well. And, you know, his expression always stays the same. You don't know what he's – you know, he doesn't give anything away. Yeah. But I can almost read it and be talking before the game. It's like not that he's surprised. It's just sure. like – what a welcome thing this is, and sometimes those are like your best years of coaching. So LCC will come into the game at 10 and 11. As I said earlier, they've won five of their last six. Offensively, they're averaging 53 points a game. Defensively, giving up 54 a game. On the two-point range, they give up or they shoot 46 percent. From the three-point line, they shoot 31 percent, and from the free throw stripe, a 69 percent. Their last win out, they got their sectional semifinal win. And that put them here in the championship game against the Bluffton Pirates. So old NWC foes from a couple years back. And, you know, that's one of the things I said to, you know, about Coach Boblet's team, Bluffton. They're young, but statistically speaking, they're good free throw shooters. They do sure. all these little things. They only average, I think it's about 10 turnovers a game, which is pretty good for a young team. And as a result of that, you know, that, that's made them pretty darn good. So we are ready to tip off game number two from the Elida Fieldhouse. Danny Holbrook, Jerry Snodgrass. The LCC Thunderbirds and the Bluffton Pirates. That ball goes out of bounds, and that will go. Looks like that will go to Bluffton. They'll you know, the other night, too, Coach Kill just praised the defensive play of Payne Cutler. Thought he was the big key in that. And a nice backdoor cut there as the ball goes up. And number zero, Mary Donaldson gets his own rebound, and he knocks it in, and he gives the Pirates the 2 nothing lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. You know, Donald's only totally a sophomore, but really makes a lot happen for the Pirates. There's a dribble drive baseline. Shot goes up from the middle of the floor. The left-handed shot. Number five, Landon Wooster knocks it in and makes it 4 nothing on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. So Bluffton comes out hot, hitting first two shots, and the Birds on offense. Well, you look at one of the keys we said for Bluffton, relax and be confident. Guess what? Nothing better than that, getting the first. You want to get out to a good start. They've done it. There's Payne Cutlip with the missed shot. Ball goes back to Bluffton. There's a steal on the baseline on the other end. This is Cutlip bringing the ball up the floor. Gets it over to Quatman. Quatman goes back to Cutlip. Cutlip thought about shooting it. Three ball from the corner. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to number three, Wade Ginther. He'll bring the ball down the middle of the floor for the Pirates. They lead 4-0. This is Donaldson up top. He gets the ball over to Carson Soper. They go down low. This is John Paul Yoder. He gets it back to Soper. Soper shoots the ball up, and it goes off the mark. And you saw there Carson Soper cuts to the basket. It goes off the mark, and it'll go back to LCC. You know, I like both teams. You know, early on, you know, 4-0. We're only about a minute and a half into the game. But, you know, just the fundamental play, good passing, you know, just very confident play on both ends right now. So here come the birds. This is Payne Cutler with the ball. Brings it over to Quatman. Quatman looks to go down low to Bork. Bork trying to get some space down there, but he is guarded hotly by number five for the Pirates. That's Landon Wooster. This is Cutlip, dribble drive baseline. Cutlip goes up. The ball is blocked, and they're going to say there's a jump ball. So a lot of contact. These officials are letting them play early here in the beginning of this game. Kind of a quick whistle there, I thought, you know, and Soper ended up, you know, taking that away, but jump ball goes to... Yeah, I think he's he's, he's yeah. questioning on that tip. Yes. I feel Coach Boblet's questioning the officials on the tip there. We'll have to see if they sort this out here. There, the arrow's pointing to LCC. But he's talking about, I, I think that ball went out of bounds on that opening tip. Right, right. So they're going to sort this out. They're going to get together. They're going to send both teams to the benches here as they sort this out. So, yeah, so we'll, yeah, we'll step aside here as they try to figure this out. We come back, we'll have further action here on WLSA. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So they sorted it out, Jerry. <laughs> you want to explain it to me? <laughs> well, I, I believe they feel that, you know, Bluffton tipped the ball out of bounds. Right. So Bluffton got the tip. 
Okay, we'll go with that. There's a nice job of getting the ball there to. I didn't mention the 50 cent piece they had out. <laughs> Carson Parker with the missed shot. Here come the Pirates. There's a nice dribble drive off the left side. And there you saw Wade Ginther get to the rim. And Bluffton's got a 6-0 lead early in this one. Three ball from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to John Paul Yoder. And the Pirates are on the run again. Here comes Merrick Donaldson. He'll go back to Soper. Bluffton is very, very fundamental. And you know, when I mentioned that rebounding being one of the big keys, you know, the key to that is good boxing out. There's a three ball from Merrick Donaldson. The sophomore sharpshooter averages almost 14 a game. And he's got five on the night. Bluffton leads 9-0 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. There's a, finally the birds get off the schneid there. Makes it 9-2, Carson Parker knocks it in. He's the leading scorer for the birds. He averages 15 a game. Well, that's just the shot you really want him to take. You know, they're from the perimeter. They don't go inside and got a hand in his face, but he did a great job. Carson Parker, Parker did. Yeah, he, he is a strong athlete and he is a really good football player. Yeah. You see the, you know, he's, you can see how strong he is by just looking at him. And he's the leader of this team. So here come the birds up the right side. Nice dribble drive by Quatman. He missed the shot. Parker with the rebound, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the ladies' famous recipes, or excuse me, to the foul line. Well, you just mentioned that. You mentioned the <laughs> athletic, you know, the physicalness, and, you know, to be able to get in there without climbing over someone, you know, goes to the free throw the line and gets rewarded. There you see the web insurance replay as he gets to the rim, and watch Parker gets up, and he is fouled. So they know where he is on the floor at all times. Here's the first one on the way, and it's good. Carson Parker knocks in the first one. He's got three. He's got all three for the birds right now. And you mentioned what a good football player he is. And really I'll just take player. that one step further and say what a great athlete he yeah, is. He's a you really know, good athlete. That's what good athletes can do. They can just play any sport. So Parker with the second one on the way. And it is good, too. He's got four to lead the birds. And it's 9-4 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Here comes Donaldson. He is guarded heavily up top by Landon Cullen. They'll swing it back out. Birds double team out top. Entering the game now, Taryn Boblett for the Pirates. She comes into the game. Boblett is a six-foot sophomore. I'm very impressed by Merrick Donaldson and how well he handles that pressure as a sophomore coming up the court. The foul is on. Foul is on number 12, Matthew Quatman up top. Pirates will trigger the ball in front of the LCC home crowd. Little dribble drive from the foul line on the right side. Shot goes up. A lot of contact. No call made. Birds with the rebound. They'll bring it down the left side. Carson Parker from the three. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Wade Ginther. He'll bring the ball down the middle of the floor. Gets it over to Boblett. Boblett back to Ginther. Entering the game now for LCC, number 14, Willie Foster, who was a starter most of the year. There's a nice dribble drive by Soper as he gets the up and under, and he scores. Soper's got two. The Pirates lead 11 to four. The Pirates have been extremely efficient on offense, too, right now. And I think that's, you know, when you're here, you know, that combination of no mistakes, combination of offensive rebounding, you know, combination of just taking good shots. There's Willie Foster from the top of the key. He misses that shot. Also, Jerry, I think they're playing good uh, situational basketball, understanding the moment that they're in. That's correct. Just right there, you see Soper thought about taking the three, but instead goes and finds the open teammate. Maybe a better shot there, but they're not settling for jump shots. They're getting to the rim, and you know as well as I do, once you get to the rim, you're going to make it miss it foul. Yeah, and you know, too, back on the defensive end for Bluffton that time, you know, that last one, you just look at how fundamental they were on sure. boxing out. Yeah. You know, I mentioned that rebounding is such a key in this, and they've held their own or done very well in that right now. There's the web insurance replay. Right there. There's the foul, Willie Foster on the foul. And we talked about Foster, who was a, a starter most of this year, and I heard Coach Kill earlier this week talk about how they want him to get settled down, and, and there's a lot of things he can learn from the bench. He's going to play a lot of minutes, yes. Jerry, but yep. uh, I think it's a great move by Coach Kill, understanding he is that young. That's I think sometimes that's hard to convince players sure. of that. But once they understand it, they see the benefit of, you know, you know I, I've some of the, to me, some of the great teams have great sixth men. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's why we have a sixth yeah. man award, absolutely. Yeah. 
So here's Foster with the ball as he swings it around, gets it to Quatman. Quatman goes inside to Bork. Bork thought about taking the shot. He kicks it back out to Foster. And the ball got kicked out top. Ball was kicked by number 22, Branson Hilty, who's in the game for the Pirates. I like the T-Birds right now just taking their time and trying to get this all back on one possession. Willie Foster is a freshman. He'll go into Bork, Bork with the ball. A little turnaround, and it's good. Billy Bork with a nice turnaround there. He had 15 the other night. He's got two tonight, and it's 11 to six on Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. I think that's gonna be a big key. He's so strong inside. Three ball from the right side, off the mark. Quatman with the rebound, he'll bring it down the floor. Looks for Carson Parker, they'll go back to Billy Burke. Parker with a move inside and a nice strong move. There you see Carson Parker flexing his muscle and the birds are only down 11 to eight. You know, I talk sometimes about both teams just emulate their coach so well. And I will tell you that physical, strong play inside. Uh, sorry, Frank, but I yeah, remember right. that in high school <laughs> right. when you played. There's a nice triple drive on the baseline. They go back to the other wing, out top to Soper. Soper back out to Donaldson. Donaldson from way downtown, Merrick Donaldson. The sophomore says, nope, we're going to extend that lead a little bit. It's 14-8 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. You can tell when you're in the groove. Donaldson knew that you're was right. in when he let go of you're it. You're right. He, does, he looks very comfortable out there now. This is Carson Parker out top. Swings it around. A little skip pass to the other side. Back to Parker. And we've got a three-second call on Billy Burke down low. And he did not like that call. Didn't understand it, really. Said he was out of there, but uh, he's going to take a seat for now. He won't be out long. <laughs> no, he won't. And they'll he won't. use him inside. You know, I mentioned that about Mark, Mer Merrick Donaldson, you know, and you know he knew that that shot was in. And I don't think sometimes fans realize how critical that is on the court. Sure. You know, confidence for a shooter, especially a young one. Absolutely. He's really confident right now. The young man averages almost 14 a game. There's Soper with a dribble drive. They'll kick it back out to the baseline. They'll skip past the other side. Three ball from the right side. Off the mark. That was Branson Hilty with the three ball try. Here comes Carson Parker leading the break for the Birds as he's double teamed up top. Goes inside. And there you saw number 44 for the Birds, Jacob Lopp. The 6'3 senior knocks in the deuce and he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, you know, doesn't Carson Parker make so much happen on the court? Yeah, he does. There's the Web Insurance Instant Replay. Tonight's Instant Replay is sponsored by Web Insurance, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Web Insurance is our Instant Replay sponsor. So the shot is up, and it is good for Jacob Lop. Instant offense there from Lop because he comes in, and it's 14-11 to 11 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Got a nice touch. He yeah, does, absolutely. Nice smooth touch, and nice move on the inside. Entering the game now for the Birds, Michael Tafflinger as Carson Parker takes his seat with 51 seconds. Left and up 14 to 11. This is Wade Ginther, guarded by Willie Foster up top. That's a really good matchup. Both yes, of those it young is. men are <laughs> talented players, and Foster can get after them on the defensive end. Carson Soper up top goes behind his back. It's a back out, a little dribble drive, and we got a travel on the play as Carson Soper tried to go to Branson Hilty and Hilty just moved one too many steps. Jacob Lauk, you get that credit for that turnover That's for right. me. That's Both right. times helped twice when a, one of the players from Bluffton thought they had a clear lane and stepped in there just as square as could be and forced that turnover. So here come the birds down 14 to 11 with 32 seconds to go. Willie Foster brings the ball up. He's guarded by Carson Soper. They go to the right side. Michael Tafflinger with the ball goes back to Foster. Foster looks down to Lauk and it's stolen away. And it's stolen by Landon Wooster. They'll get the ball to Merrick Donaldson. Merrick Donaldson tries to bring the ball up against the clock. Here's Soper with the ball. And they're going to say Soper traveled with 3.6 seconds to go. Down 9-0 to start the quarter, to start the game. And LCC has fought back and have a chance to get one, two more. So 3.6 seconds to go. Willie Foster triggers the ball in in front of the Lima Central Catholic bench. 
And you see Carson Parker out there is guarded really tightly by Branson Hilty. We'll see what the birds do here. Foster gets it in. They'll go to Carson Parker. Three ball lets it go. And he knocks it in. Carson Parker from just past the half court line ties this one up. 14 all. Unbelievable shot. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So, Jerry, I want to ask you about this last play, and I want to say how do you defend that, but Carson Parker is so strong, he puts the defender on his hip and he couldn't get in front of him. You watch it. Well, there you see the shot. Not only that, but if our viewers want to know, what, are we going to run that back? Yeah, here it is. Watch if this. If we want to know, if they want to know what coaching is all about, that play was designed. They have practiced that play. You saw it entered in, and then a little handoff, and it was a little further out than they thought, but it was a design play from the sideline out of bounds with very little time left. Well, we said it before the broadcast. We thought this was going to be a fantastic game. These are two evenly matched squads. And here we are at the end of the first <laughs> quarter, very evenly matched. Here's Merrick Donaldson out top, guarded by Willie Foster. They'll go baseline to Soper. Soper kicks it back out to Taryn Baba. They'll go back to the low post to Soper, and Soper's going to be fouled. And they're going to get number 24, Michael Tafflinger, the six-foot senior. They'll get him on the foul. You know, we looked forward to this game because we thought, you know, two very even teams. Absolutely. And yes, the score is even right now, but more so, it's like every single time down the court, both teams are extremely <laughs> fundamental. It's fun to watch. <laughs> they got some oh, nice back up by Soper, and he knocks in the deuce. Carson Parker could have put that in the bleachers, but he just misses the block. Soper scores. He's got four on the night, and the Pirates lead 16-14. There's a three ball from the top of the key. Carson Parker, back-to-back -back threes for the Birds, and that young man is on fire. Birds lead 17-16 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Pirates come down. This is Boblet out top. He'll go back to Soper. Soper thought about taking the shot, and he'll take it inside. He Look, Carson Soper is doing a great job yes, of dribble is. driving to the basket, and they have to be aware because he can knock the shot down, and he's given that little head fake, and they're coming out on it. He's been very strong with the basketball yes, in there. You know, handled it well. Going back on the other end, man, I love Carson Parker. <laughs> he is something, isn't he? I just I love his confidence. I love the way he plays. Well, he, he, you see, when he, he knocked in the second three, he looked over at Coach Kill and gave him the three signal, yeah. like, I want to do this again, Coach. So I love enthusiasm like that, and Carson Parker plays the game the right way. So there's Soper with a nice jumper. Oh, oh. my goodness, Carson Soper from the left wing knocks in the three ball. He's got seven on the night to lead the Pirates, and it's 19-17. There's a kid that spent an awful lot of time shooting. You can just tell the form. Sure. You can tell the footwork, his preparation to be ready to shoot every time he catches the ball. So here's Foster. He gets a screen out top by Lauk. Foster tries to take it in. Payne Cutlip with the dribble drive. They find Lauk on the drive, and a nice job by Jacob Lauk, the 6'3 senior, and he's having a nice first half for the Birds. It's 19-19 on the Lee's recipe scoreboard. Lauk has five points coming in. Doing a lot. Nice drive on the left side by Wade Ginther. I'll tell you what, the Pirates are guard yes. heavy. They just keep attacking that rim. This is Cutlip out top for the Birds. Swing it back around to Quatman. Quatman goes into Carson Parker. Carson Parker with a little turnaround. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Soper. He'll bring it down the right side. Dribbles around the back. Ball get away from him a little bit there. And Bob with the dribble drive in the middle. They run a little wheel action here. This is Merrick Donaldson, little jumper from the left side. Go, yep, I thought he traveled it. But just still, so what an offensive possession. <laughs> right. <laughs> Run that old fad model wheel. Yeah. It just goes, they just keep coming at you. So two really athletic teams here. Coach Kill giving his instructions to his birds. They'll get the ball up top to Matthew Quatman. See a double screen being set up on this other side here and probably see the ball swung around and Bluffton in a little zone action here. Well, now they'll go back to man-to-man. -man. Maybe it's a little matchup zone. Yeah, it here. is. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm a little confused here with what they're running. Good job, Coach Boblin. <laughs> yeah, and look, 
Oh, he did call a foul. I thought maybe he called a five-second call. Yeah, he got a foul on number 44, Jacob Wow. That's what switching up defenses sometimes do does. You know, you, you just get a little, you know, out of whack a little bit, not knowing what to do, and that resulted in an offensive foul. John Paul Yoder enters the game for the Pirates, and Landon Wooster will take a seat. Coach Boblet talking to the official. Probably try, still trying to get that jump ball possession he, back. <laughs> he, he might be the calmest human being I've he ever is, seen. Yes. He's so calm. Does a great job with his kids over at Bluffton. This is Wade Ginther out top. He is guarded by Payne Cutlip. Ginther with the dribble drive on the right side. He got his man on his hip, and he went really hard to the rim. And they're going to say the foul was on the floor. You know, I know their coaching staff's pretty well, both sides. But, you know, Alex Hanna uh, is JV coach at Bluffton. And, you know, of course, is the athletic, athletic director, director there, too. too and, yeah. uh, OG grad himself and uh, really, really a basketball person. This is Soper out top. He's guarded by Willie Foster. Soper handles the ball really well, and you can tell. You said it best. You can see he spends a lot of time on his game. There's a nice dribble drive up the right side. Tries to go underneath. Ball goes off the mark. Here comes Carson Parker in the birds. Parker guarded by Boblet. He'll swing it back to Foster. They'll go Quatman on the left side. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Yoder. They'll get it to Soper. Soper finds a... Just a driving Wade Ginther on the left side. He knocks it in, and the Pirates lead 23-19 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. That was textbook fast break. Box out, get the outlet, get down, and lay it in. Carson Parker finds Payne Cutlip driving to the basket, and they're going to say the ball went out of bounds and it'll go back to Bluffton. So they're really physical inside right now, and the officials are letting them play on both ends. And, and I'm not criticizing the officials. They're just letting it go, and they're letting them get physical underneath the rim. Well, I think you just read the script when he talked about sure. the keys of the game. That's Number right. two key by Bluffton was be physical on both <laughs> ends of the floor, floor. They listened to him. They listened to Coach. <laughs> Genther gets the ball, and there's another foul out top. That foul is going to go. Oh, they're going to say Merrick Donaldson with the illegal screen. So with 4.07 to go, Bluffton leads 23-19. Danny Holbrook, Jerry Snodgrass from the historic Elida Fieldhouse for tonight's Division Three sectional finals. Historic Elida Fieldhouse. Remember when it was a tartan floor? <laughs> right, I do. I, I sure remember. Do. Every kid thought he could dunk the ball. There's a nice turnaround oh, there yeah. by Billy Burke as he knocks it in. He's got four on the night, and it's 23-21. There's Donaldson, goes up the right side. He is cut off by Quatman. He's going to try to go baseline, takes it up strong, and Mary Donaldson shows you he is cat quick on the baseline. You know, for a young team like this, you can really win with guards. You know, you can you just, you just can't. You know, it gives you a, a dimension, and well, you know, they're going to win a lot of games. Jerry, you, we talked about how young this Bluffton team is. I don't see any nerves out of these kids. No. And LCC with such a historic program, you'd think there'd be a little bit of nerves from the Pirates. Yeah, I told Coach Boblet before the game, these guys from the, a lot of the tape I watched on them, I said, your guys play like you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you, you emulate your coach. And they just, he's a confident individual. He doesn't get rattled. I mean, heck, look at him. <laughs> he doesn't get rattled at all. <laughs> this is <And> Boblet. <laughs> they take on his character. Boblet double teamed up top. There's a steal from Willie Foster. He goes up the middle to the right side. Willie Foster with a knife up and under. Foster makes it 25-23. That's his first two of the night. Did a great job of controlling his body going in for that uh, lay-in. Boblet with the ball. Again, double teamed at the foul line. He takes it up to the right side. Goes off the mark. Soper will get the long rebound. Kick it back out to Ginther. Ginther goes up the left side. Tries the shot. Rebound comes down. Again, another missed shot. That was Landon Wooster with the rebound, and Coach Frank Kill is going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So, Jerry, you know, a lot of times come tournament time, young teams like this settle for a lot of jump shots and three-pointers, but Bluffton's really aggressive to get to the rim. They sure are. You know, not too often, you know, part, almost the end of the half, but I'll go through those keys to the game again for Bluffton. Relax and be confident. Bingo. Check. <laughs> be physical at both ends. Check. Check. <laughs> Rebound the basketball. 
Jack. Yeah. Goodness gracious. It's yeah. almost like you know basketball, Jack. Yeah. Well, well, you, well, I tell you what, though, if you're Coach Bob, you're getting what you wanted and you're getting what you practiced for the last day or two. And look, LCC's playing really good basketball. Yes, they are. It's just two good teams. There's Foster from the left side, three ball on the way. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Donaldson. He brings it up the right side. Kick it down to Soper. Soper brings it up top. They'll kick it back out. Donaldson, three ball on the way, and it's good. Merrick Donaldson, he screened for Soper. It comes off the screen. They get the ball back to him. He knocks in the triple, and it's 28-23 on the Lee's recipe scoreboard. Yes, and I'm watching him on that. Just say, he's sitting there, give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. <laughs> Billy Burke with the ball down low. This is Foster, dribble drive, foul line, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Soper. There go the Pirates on the run again. They get it to Donaldson. Donaldson gets it up to Wooster. Wooster thought about shooting it. Goes skip pass, and it's oh, it almost went out of bounds. And Ginther gets it. He'll go back to the right side. This Wooster with a little 10-foot jumper. Rebound comes down, and Yoder with the nice rebound on the left side. Knocks it in. It makes it 30-23 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. These teams, both of them, and it's really showing in Bluffton right now, are as fundamental as any team I've seen. Yeah, they can. play within themselves so well. This is Payne Cutlip, three ball from the left side. Off the mark, rebound comes down. This is Wooster, he'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Carson Parker jumps in his way, and they're going to get Parker on the reach in. So Carson Parker with the foul, that's his first. That's team seventh. So Wooster will go to the line to try to extend this lead with 1.16 to go. You know, you look out on the court right now and you look at Bluffton, and it looks like they have five guards out on the floor. It does. That's and, right. you, you know, they don't. I mean, they play different positions, sure. you know, but every single one of them. I mean, John Paul is probably the biggest out there, but they all play their positions extremely well. There's a steal from Donaldson. Look to try to get the ball to Soper, which he does on the right side. Soper swings it down to Ginther. Ginther gets it back into Wooster. Wooster goes... Baseline takes it up and under and scores. Landon Wooster, the 5'10 sophomore, gets his man to leave his feet. He makes it a 32-23 lead for the Pirates. And you notice he just, you know, he had a chance to pass it, but he did too many hands, he didn't make a bad pass. Payne Cutlip, dribble drive, takes it up the right side, and he knocks it in. Nice job by Payne Cutlip. Get to the rim, banks it in, and he makes it 32-25. Great move that time, and you can really see why Coach Kill praised him in that Absolutely. Tuesday night win. Absolutely. And credit the birds, they just, they're not, you know, every time Bluffton scores, LCC comes back with an answer. Right. So here's Mary Donaldson out top. He'll go to the right side. Go back to Yoder. He'll go back to Ginther. Ginther with 13 seconds. This is Soper with the ball, guarded by Kane, Payne Cutlip. Soper tries to go baseline. Ball goes out of bounds, and a nice job. Soper got rid of the ball, and he went baseline to go to the other side, coming off a screen, and they missed him on that one. You know, only five and a half left, but I'll guarantee you, they've got something set up for this with five, a little over five seconds going out on the side out of bounds. So Ginther will trigger the ball in front of the LCC faithful. Gets the ball to Soper. Five seconds, this is Soper, dribble drive on the right side, ball gets battered away. Billy Burke with a half court shot, and that's how the first half ends. So after two quarters from the Elida Fieldhouse, the Bluffton Pirates have come to town and have taken a 32-25 lead. We'll have second half action when we come back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Danny Holbrook, Jerry's Snodgrass from historic Elida Fieldhouse. And Jerry, we got a chance to talk to Coach Bobvin at halftime. First of all, though, what a class act. Oh, amazing. You know, he, he gave us the time, you know, to talk to us in, in all sincerity about that halftime. He was great. And what was it that he said? He said we had things we wanted to check off in the first half, all three of their keys. And he said we checked them off. If we can do that in the second half, we feel really good. And that's just what we saw <laughs> right at the half. And we, we checked each one of those off. And he said, yep. If we can keep yeah. doing that, we're in good shape. Pretty happy guy. He was yep. smiling and in a good mood. So his Pirates played really well the first half. So here come the Birds. They get the ball first. Billy Burke with a nice move inside. That ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Landon Wooster. And here come the Pirates. This is Soper. He had a big first half. Knocking down threes. Here's Merrick Donaldson from way outside. Rebound comes down to Ginther. Ginther goes to the middle of the floor. He'll bring it back out to Soper where he'll set it back up. 
So Bluffton being very patient here on offense against this good man-to-man -man bird defense. Here's Mary Donaldson, a little fade away three. Are you kidding me? Mary Donaldson from way downtown, and he makes it a 10-point lead at 35-25 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Okay, he missed the shot before. <laughs> yes, he did. You want to know something as a shooter? A lot of times as coaches, you would say, well, okay, he missed one. I was always, was like, he's not going to take the next one. He took the next <laughs> one, and he, he knew just, he was yeah, going to hit it. Yeah. There's a nice backdoor lob off the mark. Tough thing about that is you're not going to get that. When you run that, you're only going to get it once or twice, and you got to connect on it. Parker Judy with the missed shot for the Birds, but the Pirates come down, and we'll go back to LCC. So LCC with their original starters on the floor, Carson Parker, Matthew Quatman, Parker Judy, Payne Cutlip, and Billy Burt. And the Pirates go back with Merrick Donaldson, Carson Sober, Wade Ginther, Landon Wooster, and John Paul Yoder. You know, that, that turnover, that was their 10th of the game. They had nine in the first half, and I would have never, never thought that. Yeah, exactly, as well as they played. There's a dribble drive on the left side, and that was Parker Judy as the ball got deflected. Goes back to Soper. Here comes Ginther. Thought about going into the rim, but he'll bring it back out and reset the offense. But you know he ran into traffic in there, yeah. and what did he do? Back it out to get a better one. We talked about it off air at halftime. You, you want to talk about basketball IQ. The kids from Bluffton are really smart when it comes to situation. And there you see Mary Donaldson with the backdoor cut. Misses the shot, and Yoder with the rebound. And there's going to be a foul on the play. And it looks like they may have Parker Judy with the foul. Yeah, they do. Parker Judy, his first foul of the night. And you know that's set up, that little backdoor cut. And the same thing, when you get that, you sure want to connect on it because you're not going to get too many of them like that. This is Wooster with the ball, and it's stolen away. Here comes Matthew Klotman up the left side of the floor heading towards the T-Bird bench. No swinging around the Payne Cutlip. Back to Burke. Burke goes to Carson Parker. Parker finds Burke in the middle. Nice little What a nice jumper. pass, too. Absolutely, a nice give and go there. And Billy Burke jumps in there, knocks it in, and make it 35-27. He's got six on the night. This is Wooster dribble drive, foul line, takes it inside against the bigger guys, gets it to Yoder, Yoder takes it up, and there's going to be a foul, and they're going to get Burke on the foul. You know, you find so many players that, you know, they drive into the paint like that, they're picked up, and they're so quick at trying to get rid of the ball. You know, here we says, look at him just take his time and wrap that thing around, wrap that ball around. And you see what the birds have done here, Jerry, they've went with two post players. They brought Lauk in, and they took Parker Judy out of the game. So we're going to see both their post players in this half. So Yoder knocks that one in. He's got three on the night. Makes it 36-27 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Left-handed shot on the way, and it's good. Left-handed shot. He's an 85% shooter yes, on the is. year from the Absolutely. line. Absolutely. Nice stroke there by that young man. So here come the birds. They'll swing it over to Quatman. Quatman gets it to Carson Parker. Back to Quatman. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the birds. That's Payne Cutler. Puts it back up. Burke with the rebound. A big rebound by Burke. And they'll go to the line for two. I think that's big right now with them Real bigging, big. playing the two bigs at the same time. They're going to really try to take advantage of that size. And in the game now for the Pirates, Landon Wooster and John Paul Yoder goes out, and a nice job by that young man. The other thing right now, T-Birds just haven't had a break. You know what I mean? No, you're Every absolutely shot, right. They've had good-looking shots, and they're, they're going in, but they don't go in. There's a three ball from the left side off the mark by Michael Tafflinger. Rebound comes down to Carson Parker. He's guarded by Boblet out top. They'll swing it back to Tafflinger. Tafflinger looking down at Billy Burke. Wattman dribble drive to the foul line. He'll bring it back out. This is Lauk with the ball out top. Every time they go towards the middle, the Pirates do a great job of double teaming and cutting off the lane. Yeah, this you see is just great help side defense. Lauk finding Burke on the back cut. And there you see a little give and go from the two post players. And that cuts it to 37-29. Lauk's got eight on the night. A lot of credit to LCC that time, taking their time. <laughs> great job there by Wade Ginther. He just waited his turn, gets the ball, and he makes it a 10-point lead. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. 
Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Webb Insurance is our instant replay sponsor. So you saw a great move there by Wade Ginther, Jerry. He just waited his turn, and everybody moved on him, and he said, hey, I'm going to take the shot. And that's the patience I'm talking about by Bluffton. I was surprised they had as many turnovers as they did in the first half because they're just so patient with it, and they don't throw it away. They protect it well. You know, too, while we're coming out in this from this timeout, I always, you know, I think some of it goes back to the DeMar Hamlin thing when sure, I talked about this. Sure. I, I literally always try to give a shout-out to the trainers. Chris Kreitz, uh, Erica Smith, Jazz Wagner. Uh, Jazz Wagner's actually here as a host trainer tonight from Elida, but Erica Smith and uh, uh, is from Lima Central Catholic. Chris Kreitz is from Bluffton, and all of them are with Mercy Health. But m my point is that, they're so necessary. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they're, they're being called on more than ever. And I will tell you this, the burnout rate for athletic trainers in high school, we need to be careful. They're so needed, so necessary. It's a lot and of work. Believe it or not, they're not required by law. So wow. anyhow, enough of that, but they're very good and very necessary, and I'm glad to recognize them. There's a steal by Soper as he goes around the back, goes up the left side, and a nice triple drive, but it goes off the mark. Here come the birds down the left side. This is Matthew Quatman. Gets it over to Carson Parker. Parker guarded by Soper. Parker with a nice drive. Carson Parker just shows you the strength of that young man. As he knocks it in, he's got 14 to lead the birds. And that's really about the first time on the offensive end that I saw Bluffton take a shot, probably ill-advised. A little, a little too early, you're right. This is Donaldson up top, guarded by Carson Parker. Wooster with the three ball, and he knocks it in. Landon Wooster knocks in the three ball, and he makes it 42-31 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. This is Lauk, a nice little up and under. Rebound comes down to the Pirates. Landon Wooster, he of the three ball. Gets it out to Merrick Donaldson. Thought about taking that shot. Didn't, didn't, have, his, didn't have his feet set. You're right. you could tell. A smart move on yeah. his part. Ginther with a fake and a drive on the right side. Just misses that one. And a nice rebound by Lauk and the Birds. This is Quatman on the left side. Game's going a lot faster right now. You know, the pace has picked up quite a bit since that timeout. He'll go back into Burke. Burke. Adjust himself and then kicks it back out. Quatman dribble drive. Shot off the mark. Rebound by Lauk. He misses that one. Here come the Pirates. That's this what I'm saying. They just can't get a break. This is Donaldson. I thought about taking it in. He'll bring it back out. Ginther with the ball up top, directing his troops. Lefton leads 42-31 with a chance to really extend it here. Going to watch a back door here on the baseline. There's a steal out top. Carson Parker fell down, and I hope that young man is all right. Yes, he took Well, that it. wasn't Carson Parker. Excuse me. I had a whole bunch of people in front of me here. That was Matthew Quatman falls down. And Frank Hill is going to take a timeout. So with 2.41 to go, Bluffton leads 42-31. to You're watching High School Sectional Championship on WSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Jerry, we talked a lot about Bluffton going towards the rim and really a, a fast-paced offense. If they get a bucket here, th they've got the guard play that they can slow this oh, thing down. Oh, yes, they do. And, and, you know, they've already shown they control. You know, it's funny. We were talking a little bit right before the half. We talked about how young Bluffton is. And we also, we were talking to Alex Hanna a little bit. Yes, yeah. It's like he brought up an important point. Sometimes those sophomores, we talk about it's tournament time. Oh, look at the atmosphere. How big <laughs> is this? They don't know it. That's what he said. <laughs> when he said that, you and I looked at each other. He just had a grin on his face. They don't know it's supposed yeah, to be tournament it's a time. Good point. <laughs> well, look, we both said it at halftime. This is a really fun group of kids to watch. And uh, LCC's got their hands tied here in the uh, third quarter, down 42-31. I think Frank Kill's got him ready to go. Yes, so he does. Yeah. I don't know what happened in that little spill, but, boy, I'll tell you what, was it was it Cutlip that went down yes. or whoever it was? Boy, I hope he's okay. Willie Foster enters the game for LCC. He's got the ball up top. He's guarded by Wade Ginther. Kick it back out to Cutlip. Cutlip dribble drives to the foul line. They go inside, and they get the bucket. <laughs> Billy Burke knocks it in. Makes it 42-33. Burke's got 10 for the Birds. 
That's like the first time they got a break. You know, the ball still yeah, was, right. yeah. you know, not off the backboard. And it's just like, finally, this one went in. This is Donaldson up top. He's going to drive it in. He's guarded by Carson Parker. He'll go Soper out top. They'll go back to Yoder at the high post. Yoder guarded by Burke. Donaldson comes off the screen, looks at go to Yoder inside. Yoder tried to kick it back out. Ball got knocked loose, and it's picked up by Donaldson. So Bluffton taking a little time off the clock here, up nine. This is Donaldson, goes baseline. Little skip pass over to Ginther. Donaldson, <laughs> Donaldson was clapping his hands. He was wide open. He feels it. He wants that shot. He's going to dribble into the middle. They'll go back to Ginther with 1.31 to go. Ginther left side, takes it up. He's fouled, and he knocks it in. Wade Ginther, patience, my friend, patience. Boy, patience is right. <laughs> Had so many opportunities to throw up a bad shot. I don't know how long that possession was, but they just kept it until they got what they wanted. There's no fear in these guards of going to the rim, and LCC's got some big post players in there, and right now Bluffton's just taking it to them. You know, when you go back, I think they st I think they started, I think the Pirates started the season like one and three, one and four, something yes. like that. And you know what? They're young, and you can see that. You can just see how they've gelled throughout the year. So there's a foul, and that foul's going to go on Landon Wooster, and he just got caught up, got behind the LCC player, and kind of fell over top of his back. So Landon Wooster will get the foul, and that's his second of the night. 124 to go. Danny Hilbert, Jerry Snodgrass from Elida Fieldhouse for the Division Three Sectional Championship. Game one was won by Ottawa Glandorf tonight over Eastwood. Really a nice talk with Coach McLaughlin earlier tonight, and he was really proud of his kids. And He's, he's, uh, he's a demanding coach, but they do a great job. <laughs> well, you know, too, in that game, he was a little frustrated at while. But, you know, you win by that. How can you be frustrated? It was yeah. just the style of play. But, yeah. like, you, you need those games. I, I think he'll really grow. They'll really – they needed that right now. Three ball from Wooster from the side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Willie Foster, and it's poked away. Picked up by Donaldson, and Bluffton's going to get another possession. Soper out top. He'll go back to Donaldson. Yoder in the corner, guarded by Burke. Ball's deflected away, but it's picked up by the Pirates. Every loose ball seems to be going Bluffton's way right now. And Soper up top, guarded by Parker. Well, you said, too, you know, granted we're going to the end of the quarter, but they spread that out a little bit. They've got the guards to do it and take it down to get one shot. There's a dribble drive in the middle. Yoder goes down low, takes it up. It's deflected by Burke, and a nice job of defending the rim there by Burke. Here comes Parker. He's on the left side, guarded by two. Kick it back out. Three ball from Tafflinger on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Donaldson, and that will end the third quarter. So after three quarters of play from the Elida Fieldhouse, the Bluffton Pirates lead the LCC Thunderbirds 44-33. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So, Jerry, a nice job by Bluffton of just taking some time off the clock. They never lost the 11-point lead, and that's the, the worry you have when you start milking the clock. Yeah, it is. You know, sometimes, too, when you're on the defensive end of that, like LCC, you know, that gets a little frustrating. You kind of come out of your element a little bit, you know, become a little impatient trying to get the ball back. And, you know, that's the struggle sometimes when you're playing against a very strong guard-oriented team like Bluffton. Well, Jerry, you look at the statistics for both teams. Offensively, LCC averages 52 a game. Bluffton averages 58. I would have not thought this game would have been at this, at this I tempo. Agree. Yeah. I agree. But, hey, <laughs> what do we know? It's effective right now right. for the Bluffton Pirates. But you're right, if this game continues at this pace and this lead stays, you, you may see the LCC kids get a little frustrated yeah. because things haven't been going the way. So let's see if LCC can get back in this one. That's just so often a human reaction, you know, that, you, 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 come on, I don't want to play. I want the ball. I want us to catch up. And you come a little out of your element. So Soper up Go, top, guarded by Went into by a Willie zone tra half court trap here. We'll see what happens. Gets to the sideline. This is Soper. It goes to the rim, kicks it back out to Ginther. And the Birds playing some aggressive trapping defense up top. This is back to Hilty in the corner. Hilty finds Soper. Skip pass to Ginther. Ginther dribble drives. Finds Hilty on the drive. 
And Branson Hilty knocks it in to make it 46-33 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. That's demoralizing too, you know, on the defensive end. You come out in that half court trap at the end of the uh, or at the end of the quarter, and boy, you know, you want to connect on instead you give up a basket. Cut up with the ball, and he gets it stolen away. This is Soper coming down. The, he finds Ginther on the drive. Ginther swings it back over to Donaldson. Donaldson guarded by Foster up top. They'll go bobbling on the side right in front of the Bluffton bench. Seven minutes to go. Bluffton leads 46-33. Three ball from the corner. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Burke. Burke gets it out to Parker. Big Parker. rebound that time by Burke. Parker brings it down. He's guarded by Donaldson up top. Thought about taking the three ball. He'll kick it back out. Parker dribble drive, and he's going to be fouled on the drive. That'll be on the floor. You know, that's the thing, too, that, you know, Bluffton has really slowed the game down a lot, and really LCC has just not gotten a good shot. And, again, that's frustrating at times. You got to keep your cool as a coach. Yeah, absolutely. I think you said it best. When you, when you go out and you come out of a timeout break and you go into that two-man trap and then you play good defense for 45 seconds and then the 46 yeah. second they score, that you're right. That is demoralizing. This is Foster out top. That's why coaches are so good as leaders. You know, they, they, they don't let their kids get that frustrated. They've got to, they've got to pull them back from that. LCC moving the ball around that zone. This is Foster from the right side. Three ball on the way, and that's off the mark. The rebound comes down to Wooster, and the Pirates will bring it down with a 13-point lead. This is Ginther up top. Dribble drive to the foul line. He's guarded by Billy Burke. Six minutes to go. There's the drive. He'll kick it to the corner to Wooster. Wooster dribble drive to the foul line. Back to Ginther. The ball gets hit out of bounds. It'll go back to the Pirates. So game two of the Division Three sectional finals from Elida Fieldhouse. Ottawa Glandorf won the first one. Bluffton with a 13-point lead here in the fourth quarter, hoping to take the nightcap and move on to the districts. Payne Cutlip back in the game, and he's not going to sit for very long. He's going to put a lot of pressure on the ball. Nice drive by Ginther. That ball's batted away. Here comes Carson Parker. He'll lead the break down the middle, goes behind the back. Spin move in the middle. He loses the ball. They'll find Ginther on the run out. Here comes Ginther up the right side, and he knocks it. Oh, no, it goes off the mark. I thought for sure that was down, and a big-time break for the Birds. Here goes Carson Parker from the left side, and a big-time bucket from Carson Parker, which could have been two points down, comes up three points. Doesn't that happen all the time? Oh you miss a layup, and all of a sudden, it's a five-point swing on that. <laughs> we'll take a timeout here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to United Fieldhouse. We're with fourth quarter action. The Bluffton Pirates lead 46 to 36. This weekend, you can catch more high school basketball Saturday at 4.30, Miller City Crestview. At 6 o'clock, we've got Grove and Spencerville. And at 9 o'clock, Delta St. John's and Pandora Gilboa's. A lot of rivalry games there. Also Saturday at 9, the Division Three Regional 10 District Finals in Elida Girls Basketball. 6.30 Division Four Region 14 District Finals at Ottawa Glendale. I'll be covering that game. And Sunday at 8 o'clock, the Division Three Sectional Wrestling Championship at Lima Central Catholic. So lots of action here on WOSN. So if you're enjoying the program tonight, don't hesitate to donate to the station. If you like watching high school basketball, swimming, wrestling, we got it all here on WSN. Just remember how many high school young future leaders you're supporting. Absolutely, absolutely. So here come the Pirates up 46-36. And Jerry, that went from a could have been 48-33 yes. to 46-36 because of the missed bucket and a huge shot by Carson Parker. So this is Merrick Donaldson up top. He is guarded by Kane Payne Cutlip, excuse me. They'll go back to Yoder. Yoder brings it out to Donaldson. Back to Wooster. Soper cuts in the middle. They'll go baseline to Yoder. Yoder back around top. And the Pirates are being very cautious. Here's Soper tried to take it in. Not forcing anything. There's a nice dribble drive. They find Wooster down low. Wooster is going to travel. And he tried to go into Carson Parker. And you're not going to move that young man. Yeah, he was. You know, it was a good pass inside, but, you know, he wasn't going to move him, and there's nothing to do and shuffled his feet. So here's a chance for the Birds to get under 10 points. Big possession. In the fourth quarter, absolutely. Payne Cutliffe on the right side. 
Swing it back to Quatman. Quatman goes to Foster. Foster dribble drives. He'll pull it back out. 4.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Bluffton leads 46-36. There's a dribble drive, and they're going to say Foster was fouled. Bluffton wanted the travel, but they're going to say the foul occurred before the walk. Yeah, I think this is a huge possession. I know we have a long way to go, but still. But just for momentum for the yep, Birds. You've yep. said it best all night. They just haven't had a break. So this is Foster out top. He'll swing it to Payne Ketlip. Dribble drive on the left side. Shot goes up. Rebound comes down. It's deflected. Parker, Car Carson Parker gets it and puts it in. Carson Parker with a big-time catch of the ball. He's got 19 to lead all scores, and it's 46-38. Great nose for the basketball to find that. So here come the Pirates. They get the ball in the middle to Soper. Soper goes to Merrick Donaldson. Donaldson with a three ball off the mark. Soper with a rebound and a big time rebound by Carson Soper, the 5'10 sophomore. Right place, right time, Jerry. And you know, too, I, I felt all along Soper has done such a good job rebounding, checking out, boxing out every time. Here comes Merrick Donaldson. Brings it down the middle. He's going to hold up. He brings it to Soper. Soper finds Yoder, and Yoder knocks in the deuce, and he ups the lead to 50-38. to 38. That's team ball right there. So with 3.28 to go, we'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So, Jerry, we, we thought we had cut the lead to eight for LCC, and then Bluffton just, I, they've just been doing it all night. Yeah, it was they, about, they, they have. Yep, it was about the 420 mark, and, and they had a 10-point lead, uh, Bluffton did. LCC had the ball, had a chance to cut it and, you know, really make that move, and now it's back up to 12. Parker will bring the ball down the floor. He's got 19 on the night to lead all scores. This is Foster, dribble drive middle, takes it up, and a nice move by Willie Foster, the freshman, not afraid to go in amongst the trees. And he's got four on the night. It makes it 50-40 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. And you know, you see the pressure pick up now, about three-quarter court, trying to get the trap, trying to get the ball. Payne Cutler guarding Mary Donaldson out top. Donaldson's got 16 to lead the Pirates tonight. Ginther gets it over to Yoder. Yoder takes it back out top. They find Wooster down low. He's guarded by Burke. They, if, if it's not there, they're not yeah, taking it. I, absolutely. Yeah, they, trust me. They're not trying to hold the ball for a last shot. It's just they're so patient, and they understand their role very well. And now we're going to shoot free throws because LCC, I don't think they have a choice right now with 24 to go. So, you know, a great game plan by Coach Boblin and his staff. And he said it at halftime. We, we checked all the boxes for the first half, and if we can do that in the second half, we feel really good. And so far, so good for the Pirates. If you're sitting on LCC's bench right now as a coaching staff, you know you've got to make a run here pretty quick. And, and believe me, they have the firepower. They can yeah, do that. Sure They're do. down 10. They can make a run here. So this one's far from over, folks. It, it, it's it's a strange game for LCC. They I, it almost say they really haven't gotten to play their game. Right, exactly. And that's a credit to Bluffton. Yes, it is. And they inbound the ball. Yoder tried to get it in, but and it's going to be held up. And they're going to say, did they give Bluffton the timeout? I believe they did. The, yeah, the ball the ball was on the floor, Jerry. It looked like. LCC had possession, but they gave Bluffton the timeout. Yeah, and the LCC faithful, not happy with that. Coach Kill, you see him talking to the official. He's kind of wondering how in the world they can get a timeout when. Well, I am too. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It looked to me, if we, we'll go back and, and see yeah. that, but it looked to me like I thought LCC had the ball yeah. on the floor sitting down, but uh, they give the timeout to Bluffton, so. We'll Still, though, that, yeah. you know, down 10, you know, it, in the pace of this game, 10 is a lot. Yeah, absolutely. But, like I said before, LCC really hasn't played their game yet. They haven't had a chance yet. Here's the web insurance replay. And look, <laughs> and now Jerry Foster's got the ball. And, <laughs> and you see Alex Hanna with a little smile on his face. I don't know how that happened. But, uh, oh, well. I guess we don't know. Yep. <laughs> Out of town or can't get WSN. WSN is now streaming 24-7 online on Roku and Apple TV. 
Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. $100 allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. You're going to see a lot of pressure now by LCC. So there you go. Yeah, ball stolen away. Stolen by Sal Guigeni. Here come the birds. And Willie, Fo yeah, Willie Foster, they're going to say a charge. Willie Foster had the ball and just loses control of it, and they got him on a charge. You know, half the crowd's always going to go against that, but I think that was a combination of Willie was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and the defender was there at the right place. I mean, it, just, it was just a weird thing, you know? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. He didn't set up to take that charge. He was just there, and Willie went into it. Stick around after the game as we'll give a Stolly Hustle Award. You can check out the winner on the WSN YouTube page. Jerry Snodgrass and I will be picking a winner. I got somebody in mind, Jerry. Yep. I got somebody in mind. We'll see how this plays out. Bluffton inbounds the ball. They get it to Wooster. Wooster goes back to Soper. Soper thought about throwing the touchdown pass along yeah. the sidelines. He looked up. Soper guarded out top. Christian Marks in the game now for the Birds. You're going to see a lot of fouls. That, I, is that foul six or seven? I, oh, it is seven. So they'll go. To, we'll start the, the shooting contest. So that will put Taryn Boblet at the line, the six-foot sophomore. Tries to extend this beyond ten points with 2.11 to go. Danny Hobart, Jerry Snodgrass from Elida Fieldhouse for the Division Three sectional championship. First one is good. Jerry, I always look ahead, and I probably shouldn't, but uh, district basketball, uh, I think, I think, and I say this all the time, I think it's the best part of the tournament trail. I love the state tournament. Yes, no, but you're district right. basketball, the teams are familiar with each yep. other. It's usually two good teams in the finals, and it's it's – it's just the best. Right, right. <laughs> and, and, you know, you, you think about that, you know, especially early rounds of yes, the sectional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've weeded out, to, you know, and I don't mean that bad way. No, no, but no, no. Well, with everybody in the tournament, you're going to weed them out. Sure. And it gets it gets real business. Absolutely. At the district tournament. There's Foster. Nice move. Dribble. Nice move by Willie Foster as he oh, knocks it in. Makes it 52-42. Foster's got six. Here come the Pirates with 159 to go. There's a foul out top. And usually, Jerry, at the regional yeah. level, it's a much bigger arena, and it doesn't seem like they're on top. The I fans are on top yeah, of yeah. you. But at the district level, like here in the field house, it's just craziness. Yep. yep. <laughs> I, I were talking to uh, the, the people here at Elida, something like 17 games, and I forget how many weeks, you know, or how many days, uh, I should say. So. Wade Ginther knocks in the first one. Ginther's had a great night tonight. He's got 11 for the Pirates, and he makes it 53-42. Second one on the way, and he rolls off the iron. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to go to LCC. Yoder knocked it out of bounds. Well, now if you're bluffed and you're just telling yourself, you know, if you're a coaching staff, hit our free throws because that's what it's going to amount to. Free throws win ball games. Yeah, Willie Foster, nice dribble drive there on the right side. He misses the shot. Soper gets the ball, and he tries to find Wooster on the drive, and there's going to be a foul out top. You're right. If, if you're Coach Boblet, you're telling your kids, keep the ball, don't make mistakes, and hit free throws, and we are sectional champs. You know what's interesting is it, it looks like it looks with his young team that he doesn't have to tell them that. <laughs> right? That's what's so, I mean, I, I'm amazed. Man, this is my first time getting to see Bluffton this year. And, I, you know, I studied them up all week to see, you know, what they were like and things like that. I did not expect this kind of performance, and that's not taking right. anything away no, from no, Bluffton. No, no. I thought, you know, with a young, you know, inexperienced, but my goodness, Jerry, that this team's ready for the districts. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you know, too, I mean, it, you look at this, and that's, to me, you love that in coaching, I think. You know, how, sure. how are you going to beat a team that is a good team? And, and you look at those keys being so important. There you saw Yoder had a chance to take the shot, and he's going to bring it back out. <laughs> Soper says, take the shot, take the shot. <laughs> what a great moment right there. <laughs> Carson Soper comes over, and he talks to John Paul Yoder and says, take the shot, you're wide open. Hey, I've been, I've been you know, we, again, we have a minute 30 left. And there'll be a press after, this free, after sure. these free throws, but... 
I've been in those shoes before where Coach Kill is, and you just, like, we haven't been able to play our game yep. yet, you know? Yep. Very frustrating. And, and that's just the way it works. Very frustrating. So he knocks in the first one, Wade Ginther. He's got 12 on the night, second one on the way, and he gets that one. Wade Ginther with 13. He's had a fantastic night tonight, the six-foot junior. Here comes Carson Parker for the birds as he tries to dribble in. Tafflinger from the left side. It goes off the mark. Payne Cutlip with the rebound, and Coach Kill needs a timeout. So with 119 to go, the birds take a timeout. They're down 56-42 on WOSN. Welcome back to the United Fieldhouse with 119 left in this one. Bluffton leads 56 42. Jerry, you look at this roster for Bluffton. They got four starters coming back next yes. year. Yes. They're really young. There's a three ball from the right side. It goes off the mark. Soper with the rebound. Tries to get it out, and it goes back to the birds. Parker with the ball, takes it up, gets his own rebound, misses that shot, and they just can't get anything to fall right now. And Bird. you just look at that, though, too. Did you see how that ball popped out yep. like that? I mean, you know. 80% of the time that ball's going in. It's just been a very frustrating night. Foul is on Landon Wooster. They've never been, LCC's not been able to make that run. You're you know, right, that, yeah. They, and we've all been waiting for it. Right. I, think, I think both sides have been waiting for it. This is Taffling, or three ball from the left side. It goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Merrick Donaldson. And we're under a minute to go. Bluffton leads by 14, and there's going to be a foul out top. Merrick Donaldson will go to the line. So Merrick Donaldson has 16 tonight. A, a quieter second half, Jerry, but he was everything they needed yeah. him tonight. I look at him and his, you know, thin frame. I'm yes, see, right. I'm seeing Pistol Pete out there. Oh, you my know, goodness. He's just got such a court sense about well, it. Well, you, really you like look it. at him and Ginther and Soper, yeah. and they look. You can just see the hours they've played together. Yeah, they just, they're, they're, a, they're a concert. I mean, they, they're, they're in rhythm. Donaldson knocks that in. And look at the smile on all their faces. They're just excited. They understand the moment. And LCC is going to bring in three new players. It makes it 57-42. Yoder is going to take a seat. Sal Guagenti's in. Soper takes a seat. Wooster takes a seat. So the Bluffton Pirates with 56 seconds to go are up 57-42. Justin Ballman's in the game. Donaldson Cole Knox Gross. And in the game for Bluffton, number 14 is in the game. So we're under a minute here. Payne Cutlip with the ball, swings it around. Bluffton leads 58-42. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Michael Tafflinger missed that one. And here comes Boblet down the middle of the floor. And LCC will not foul. And the clock will run out. So an incredible performance tonight by the Bluffton Pirates. And uh, Jerry, they're going to move on to the district semifinals. Yes, they are. And uh, I would not want to play this squad right now. He's never going to say it, but this is bonus basketball for oh, those guys. Absolutely, absolutely. They've earned this win tonight. So they'll run out the clock here as the Bluffton faithful are on their feet, and they are appreciating what they saw tonight. So the Bluffton Pirates defeat the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds 58-42, and they win a Division Three sectional championship. When we come back, we'll have our Stolly Hustle Ward with we'll Coach Boblet talk a little basketball right here on WSN. Back here at Elida High School with our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out our Stolly Hustle Award winner on our WSN YouTube. I've got Wade Ginther from the Bluffton Pirates. And Wade, congratulations on the sectional championship. Thank you. You guys played really well tonight. And, and you, you know, I want to ask you something about you and, and, and Donaldson and Soper. You, you guys look like you're all in rhythm together. Yeah, I mean, it's just so much fun to play with those guys. I mean, from the beginning of the season, coach just kept saying that we just gotta keep getting better each and every day. And you know, towards the end of the season, I think we, we keep getting better and it's just so much fun to play with those guys. They're so good and uh, they make me better. I try to make them better. It's just a great team win tonight. Well, you guys didn't look nervous at all. Did coach talk to you about how important this game was? Yeah, I mean, uh, to, uh, last game, Wednesday night, it was uh, 
double overtime, and that, I would say that took a lot of the nerves away, but tonight it was just, a, like I said, a great win, and there, be, there is some nerves at the beginning of the game, but once you start playing, you kind of forget that, and just the team makes it so much better. Well, congratulations, Wade. Great game tonight. Let's bring in Coach Boblet over here. Coach, congratulations on a sectional championship. Coach, I got to ask you, we talked to you at halftime, and you talked about the three keys, relax and be confident, physical on both ends, and rebounding. You did it to perfection. Wow, our kids were really good tonight. And, you know, LCC's been playing really well. We were really concerned coming in uh, about were we going to be able to match them physically? Were we going to be able to rebound the ball? Um, and I thought we did. And, and we continued to do it for 32 minutes. And uh, just credit our guys. I'm so proud of them for the way they competed. They did it the right way. Um, we, we were able to control their transition. Just a really good night for our guys at both ends of the floor. Coach, last year you lost a lot of firepower. You come back, such a young team. Did you expect to be in this situation? Well, I will say our guys have put a ton of time into this. Um, they have a true passion for the sport. They love playing it. They are a joy every day to be with. And I think, you know, as we talked, we just wanted one more practice together. We want one more game together. We earned it tonight, and uh, we couldn't be happier about that. Well, you can see the cohesiveness, and you guys did a great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's bring Jerry Snodgrass back in here. Jerry, I, 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 look, I'm, I'm not usually not speechless, but I'm stunned at the youth of this team and how relaxed and how comfortable they look. Well, you know, off camera there, I told Coach Bobla, I said, this has to be a great, fun team to coach. All he did was smile. <laughs> you know, that said it all. You know, it really is. They're so, so good court sense, so good at passing the ball, so shifty. They've got great role players. This is a nice team. Yeah, absolutely. So that'll do it from Elida High School. The Bluffton Pirates move on to the district semifinals. <laughs>